Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next live on War Day video. This war against uh, Canada, A, eh? and they. Um, well, let's take a look at their clan real quick. I guess you can see uh, they seem to be a pretty high level clan, uh, Canadian clan, obviously. And I think they're probably one of the the, uh, the better war clans out there. Uh, they went ahead and put a good luck to us in their description. So um, they should be a solid clan. They're actually a star up on us now. It's very early, so can't tell a whole lot from that. But they are up one star. Uh, they think that's our top Town Hall 9 right there. And just going through, they've gotten a few other two stars. So I think we actually we might have the lead in terms of three stars, which is all that matters at this point. Um, they've gotten a lot of two stars, but we've had a, a three star on I think their top n uh, nine, yeah, and then a no stars there and a two star there, three star there. So I think we have one more three star than they do. Uh, looks like some of their bottom bases. Let's take a look at this. I actually haven't checked. Oh, actually we had a live attack. Uh, almost missed that. Okay, we got JP going in here. And this is a Town Hall 9 base, really. I don't think it has many Town Hall 9s, uh, or many Town Hall 10 defenses. It might have an extra giant bomb, but besides that, this should be a pretty standard uh, Town Hall 9 attack. Coming in here with what looks to be a uh, La Luna attack, going in with the three golems. I assume he has bowlers in the CC. Um, in that case, he's probably going to need to take out all these air defenses. Otherwise, yeah, he has the two jumps, so he's expecting to get very deep into this base. The poison was kind of late. That's something that people do uh, often, is drop the poison a little bit too late. So he's going to miss out on some of the value of that. A few of his troops died, but he has the golems. They tank quite a bit. The bowlers seem to all still be up, so that's good. He's starting to take out some of those Teslas, the point defense towards the bottom. His troops are spread out a little bit. Um... So they're going to start taking some damage, but so far so good. The queen's back behind the golems. That level 30 queen can do quite a bit of damage. And it looks like that heal spell will help the bowlers stay up, even though they're being targeted and the giant bomb went off in the area. So things are looking pretty good. Needs to probably get all those air defenses, so hopefully the queen will kind of walk up. Yeah, there she goes. The queen should get that last air defense. Uh, he has her ability, along with a few golems tanking. He needs to deploy the balloons. Yeah, at the top there. There he goes. Um... This is going to be a tricky one, but I think he has it. There's just not a defenses, not many defenses left up, and that golem is in perfect position. Uh, so here come the balloons. He's going to swarm it. Good thing that he doesn't now because those golemites are tanking all those defenses. So the Teslas, the Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower, almost all focused on the golemite. Uh, so as soon as the balloons get there, they will go down. This one looks to be a three-star, I think, yeah. Uh, just a Builder's Hut. He has a balloon I guess he could drop on the Builder's Hut. Uh, but besides that, nothing else to worry about. Goes ahead and drops in those last few balloons. He has a ton of balloons if you look at that. Um, I think let's count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like, like nine balloons left up. So crush this base. Um, good plan. I didn't see the plan at first. I was kind of wondering how he was going to do it without Lava Hounds. But the kill squad got very deep into the base. Was able to take out all the air defenses and get him the three star. So nice stuff there. Uh, can we ca can we catch this? Did this this just happen? Oh, it looks like we're catching the back end of it. Um, whew, I don't know if this is going to be a three star or not. Looks like kind of a baby dragon Valk attack. The baby, uh, whatever people call it, baby dragon Valk, baby ba uh, baby dragon. I guess is what people call it. I think that's kind of a stupid name to be honest. But yeah, baby dragon. Uh, but it looks like this one's going to be a fail. I'm not sure what happened. We can look at the replay, assuming no one else is attacking. Uh, yeah, he's going to drop in a few more baby dragons, but unless there's a lot of Valks here, I don't know how many Valks he has left up. It looks like it's just like one. Yeah, um, so the king, they should take out that compartment. I don't want to speak too soon. He might, yeah, but the air defense is still up. That's the thing. Uh, and the, the baby dragons will probably go over there before the air defense is able to go down. Yeah, this one's going to be a very high percentage two-star, it looks like. Um, so yeah, nice try to, there to Rich. We'll go ahead and back out and look at the attack as soon as we know this one's not going for a three-star. Um, yeah, unless that expo has like no HP left and the baby dragons can take it out with like one shot. Uh, not looking too good here for Rich. So, uh, here there goes the air defense. Probably will take out those baby dragons. Uh, they might actually get that expo taken out. Yeah, the expo will go down, but I don't, I don't think he has enough time or enough troops to take out the remaining buildings. So we will go ahead and back out, see if there's anyone else going in live. Uh, besides Rich, doesn't look like it. 
Um, so two attacks right off the bat there as soon as I started recording. Uh, so that was cool. We'll take a look at the replay though so you guys can see the full attack. I, I feel like I probably should do that because, you know, by going into this attack, I've already kind of brought it up. So might as well show the entire thing. As soon as it ends there, there was about three seconds left. I'm not sure if he'll let the entire clock run because I'm sure the king, the Valk, all those troops are dead. Yeah, there it goes. So let's take a look at the beginning, how this thing was set up. It is the Valk baby dragon attack. And yeah, I think he, what he wanted his troops to do, just looking at the base and the army composition, is for his Valks to just kind of make their way out in a circle around the base and use those baby dragons to keep them inside the base, tank for outside defenses, maybe even take a few out. Those are like the three things you talk about in a baby dragon Valk attack, is you want your baby dragons doing three things. First, keep the Valks inside the base, keep them from straying. Second, tank for some archer towers, some expo, some wizard towers. The baby dragons have quite a bit of hit points, so they can do that. Um, not for air defenses, though, but for those uh, defenses that would otherwise be targeting the Valks. And third, uh, you want uh, the baby dragons to get in there and take out a few defenses if you can. But the air defenses on this base are pretty spread out, and there's no clear path for the Valks to go. So it looks like his troops uh, split up. The queen goes south. Everything else kind of goes north. Uh, the baby dragon's going in, but the air defenses are spread out, which prevents him from dropping those baby dragons too early. So he can't drop any in the top corner or the left corner. I think this is right where we left off. The queen goes down to the expo right here. And from there, he does have the heal spell, but not enough Valks left up. And kind of split the base in half, which is never a good thing to do. Because you have two different parts to deal with. So you can't kind of engage it all at once. A lot of walls to go through typically. So nice try. We'll go ahead and back out. Because um, the rest of the attack we saw. And here we go again. Uh, just back to back to back to back. Um... This one looks like it just got started. Is that a P.E.K.K.A. in the CC? Yeah, that might have been a CC P.E.K.K.A. from what I saw. Uh, this is going to be an air attack. This base looks to be pretty low level. It is a Town Hall 10 base. It has that Town Hall 10 troop space. So this is, you know, you could argue engineered. It has, yeah, that's going to be 240 troop space. Because it looks like all this guy's army camps are maxed out. But uh either way his defenses aren't that high level so at least it shouldn't be too difficult to three star this that lava hound shouldn't be dying anytime soon with that low level air defense it should tank for those teslas this guy has the max teslas as well so yeah I, these guys might be a little bit engineered to be honest as i take a look at the few bases i haven't even scouted this war at all i'm not in it so i haven't been paying much attention but it looks like we could have some borderline engineered bases and it's all relative it's kind of a spectrum uh there's no like absolutes and engineered bases but it looks like a few of these bases, and even by the war map, you can see they have some Town Hall 10s that are suspiciously mixed in with the Town Hall 9s. Uh, so, and this one's even below a Town Hall 9 in terms of defensive weight, it looks like. But this should be a 3-star, um, as long as things get the cleanup done in time. He has a few Builder's Heads to deal with. Doesn't look like he has any troops for the Builder's Heads, but even still, I think the uh, the Lava Pups will kind of drift down there in just a moment. Um yeah, I, we'll go ahead and take a look at the beginning of the attack, and I apologize that I'm showing the attacks in these weird, like, uh, halfway through, but it's just the way it works. So we actually can... Actually, I don't know if this is going to be a three-star. This might be close on time. Uh, you know, he should get it. That, that builder's hut in the left corner is kind of concerning me right now, but if the lava pups move in here and everything kind of converges, uh, yeah, this should be a three-star... Yeah, let's go ahead and back out. Make sure no one else is going in live. They're just coming happening one after another. Uh, I guess I should give a woo. I haven't been doing that. Uh, nice attack there. Okay. We'll take a quick look at the beginning. And then hopefully an attack doesn't go on while I'm showing this. So it doesn't get into a deadly cycle of uh, me showing the replay and having a live attack go on. So I have to show the replay of that. And it just goes in a cycle. So let's hope the cycle stops here. I can take a, a, you know, a breath from talking. And we can come back in a few minutes. But it looks like it was just a, a standard kind of kill squad. Uh, what's that? One golem, the heroes, baby dragon. Uh, another golem in the CC, which he delayed. I'm not a huge fan of delaying that much. Because if you make a mistake, that golem might not go into the base. Or it might not get out in front fast enough and your heroes might die. But it looks like it worked out okay here. That rage was a little bit too far out. So the king and the queen aren't going to get the effect of it. You can see how much damage that golem took while the king and the queen were sitting back taking out trash buildings. Only right now are they going up to engage. So maybe a few Valks or a few wizards would be helpful. Because those low level heroes don't do much damage. So you typically are going to need some kind of other DPS troop. If you want to have an effective kill squad. But that being said it worked out fine here. The queen 
uh, does it, how does the queen even go down? I didn't even notice that. But it looks like the queen was still up. I guess a few lava pups take her out as we fast forward. His queen goes down. And right, yeah, right there, the first lava hound pops. The, the pups take her out. And from there, it's history. Uh, any live attacks? No. Okay. So there we go. This is a good time to conveniently stop and take a breath. And I'll be back with some more live attacks in just a moment. Okay, here we go. We have Fletcher going in live, and I apologize. I think I'm a little bit late. Actually, not too bad. Okay, he just started deploying his troops. I was watching a video that I had to pause. <clears throat> but, yeah, it looks like he's going in with a... Um... Oh, you guys are in luck. This is a low-level hero attack, but it looks like he has a regular stoned hobo queued up. And he has two jump spells to get pretty deep into this base. One thing you have to be careful about is using such low-level heroes on a stoned hobo attack. And with that Lava Hound, that should take his queen and probably any wizards out of the equation, at least for the beginning of the attack. So really the bowlers are what the DPS is. Now this base is uh, pretty compact, so it's, it's probably going to be a better base than some other ones to do a stoned hobo on because the golems... If he's lucky, he should do most of the tanking, but looks like the bowlers did go down. Uh, the golems are still up. He should take advantage of the golems tanking. Yeah, looks like he's dropping some hogs in on a few distracted defenses. Still has, um, he might have dropped one of his heals on, oh no, he had two jumps, never mind. Yeah, he had two jumps of rage in the heal. So, uh, good thing there that golems triggered the giant bomb set. So, he has hogs, I think, don't have to worry about any more giant bombs. I'm not exactly sure if any more have been triggered, um, but regardless, he does have that heal spell. Should drop it right there, maybe a little bit early. You want the hogs to be in the heal when it's dropped, typically, but they're getting the heal spell effect right now. The poise his last few hogs on that archer tower. Uh, it's just wait and see how this goes. I think he has the three star. Yeah. Uh, this one. Yeah, this one's going to be a three star. It looks like nice attack. Pretty, you know, compact. Uh, internet based caller. I don't like using the word internet based because it's kind of a, a weird thing to say, but um, definitely not the most thoughtful th anti three star base, but still tough with the low level heroes. I think this base had, you know, max defenses for the most part, even if the defensive heroes were low, but the defensive heroes don't make that much of a difference, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to wrap up right here, and uh, I'll stay on the lookout for more attacks. I might do some recording tomorrow. I'm not sure. It depends if I can get another video out tonight. So just stick around and we'll see what else I have in store for you guys. Okay, here we go. We have uh, Shoker going in live here, uh, doing a, a mainly a minor attack. Looks like he has some boulders cooked up as well. I'm um, going to come in here, try, try to get the queen, try to get the inferno, uh, and then send those miners in at some point. So it looks like the golems are down. Uh, he has three heals of radiation and jump, so pretty standard stuff. Uh, and I just made that last video about should you bring a jump spell. It's going to be interesting to see if he should bring a jump spell. Uh, he dropped a few miners. I'm not sure the purpose. Maybe just to help with the kill squad. Maybe that was an accident. I don't know exactly uh, which one. There's the jump spell. Uh, we'll see how much value it ends up getting him. It's always hard to tell at the beginning. But the poisons are nice and early. I like that about the poisons. Get those things down early. Um, they do way more... Uh, you get way more benefit if they're down early because they almost are never needed their full length. But I think that single Inferno got on the King did pop the ability in time, so he does get the Barbarians. But besides that, the King does go down pretty quickly. Uh, that being said, he still has the Golems, the Queen, some Bowlers. The Miners are moving in. We'll see how this works. I think the Miners will do a nice job tanking for some of the Kill Squad, so the Queen should stay up. Um, the King, enemy King's about to go down. He shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, the bowlers are kind of stuck on a wall along with the queen, but the single inferno is down, and luckily the miners are doing most of the tanking, so the bowlers should be able to sit back, and as soon as the queen beats through that wall, they should step up and start helping with some of those testas. Um, hard to tell how this attack is going to go, but I like his chances. Uh, I think the bowlers are going to help out. Yeah, right there they get a testa. Um, yeah, this one might be close, but I think not enough defenses left up. Has that heal spell too. Uh, this one's going to be a three star. You can see the queen will take out that inferno right there. Still has her ability as well. So crush this base. It was single targeted inferno towers. Uh, so that did uh, probably make it a little bit easier. But I think he might even be able to swag a heal spell. Um, we'll see. Does he have any corner builders have to deal with? Uh, no, just the one in the corner on the right side. So yeah. Awesome attack there, has a swag heal spell, uh, crush this base, good plan, good execution, not the toughest base, uh, he goes ahead and drops that heal right there, not the toughest base, but 
Um, Town Hall 10, still uh, tricky to three-star, and uh, that, that goes for most people. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I think I had four or five attacks for you guys today, um, or parts of attacks at least. So hope you guys like what you saw. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, I'll be sure to to uh, bring you guys the next video very soon. Uh, the weekend does make it a little bit easier to upload, so uh, that is one of the benefits of of being, you know, of the weekend uh, is that I can maybe record a few videos ahead of time so the week is a little bit more reliable. But yeah, thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.